This Penguin video is to show you how to identify, test and if necessary change the Danfoss controller for the older style 12 or 24 volt compressors which are normally identified by being a bigger unit and having a cable connecting the controller to, via a four pin plug onto the compressor. These compressors are extremely voltage sensitive and a main issue with or main issue we see with them is power supply to them. If you need to test your controller, if your fridge isn't working, the first thing we would suggest is that you check the fuse. All the controllers over the years have changed and they can be different to the one I have here. We can show you some different controllers towards the end of this video. On this particular controller I've got a fuse holder here which if I take off will show a 15 amp blade fuse. I can check that, that fuse is good so I can put that back in. I know I've got a good fuse in the control box. Knowing we've got a good fuse and we've got power to it, the next thing we would do is link out the thermostat. Again, it does vary from controller to controller, but on there somewhere you'll see a, normally a T and a C which will mark where the thermostat goes. Take the thermostat cables off, get yourself a little link out wire with two terminals on and simply link the C and the T together like so. Once that is made, the compressor should run. If you're still not getting any movement with a compressor, you can run or fit an LED, which will fit, again, depending on the compressor, but normally onto the, the small positive, the C in this instance, and the D for diagnostic. That will give you a fault code. If it blinks all the time, that's telling you the voltage is low. If, it goes, if it's on constantly, that's an alarm to suggest that the boxes may be faulty. The next thing I would do is actually bring an independent power supply to the controller to just isolate what you've got going on on your vehicle or your boat to what's going on on the controller. So here I have a fully charged 12 volt battery for my 12 volt controller. Obviously if your controller is 24 volt, you'll need a 24 volt power supply to run it. So I have short lengths of cable way less than two meters. The diameter must be a minimum of 2.5 millimeters squared. Any less than that, and we're looking at potentially voltage drop. And again, for safety, I've got a 15 amp fuse on the positive side. The final thing to make sure is that all your terminals and connections are tight, properly crimped, that the terminals onto the battery are tight. So I do those up with a spanner just to make sure There's nowhere I can be getting a voltage drop. Then connect those to my negative and positive. And in this instance, hey presto, my compressor is running. The fan is going, the compressor is turning. So I know that with a fully charged battery, the right size wires, it'll run. OK, so if the compressor still won't run after we've put a properly charged battery onto the system, there is still one thing we can test and that will look at, and that is the pins on the actual plug into the compressor. Before we do that, we must disconnect the battery from the fridge. So we'll undo our two connections, making sure that the wiring is properly isolated and is not going to cause any problems anywhere else. Once we've done that, we can look at removing the cover for the plug. So we take off the little spring, take the black plastic cover off, and that will reveal the four pin plug underneath. Gently pull the plug off, and then you'll see the four pins that go into the compressor and the plug itself. For the pins, you can just lightly give those a, a rub with a, a bit of um, emery cloth just to clean them up. And the plug itself, if you look down the end, I'll maybe show you this in a close-up, you can just use your, use a, carefully use a screwdriver to go into the end of the plug just to open up the, um, close up the terminals a bit to make sure that they're fitting tightly on the plug. Once you've done that, we can then reconnect the plug to the compressor 
reconnect our wires from the battery and see if the fridge will start. So these are all examples of the older style controllers. So the three we have here are all out of production and not available anymore. And the two current ones that we can supply from Frigaboat are over here, the 12 and 24 volt units. They all have the four pin plug to plug into the compressor in all cases. So they are a straightforward swap, but it may be that certainly on the energy saving, which isn't available now, you would just need to switch to the straightforward DC control box according to the voltage. So having tested the controller and tested the pins, if we're still getting no joy and the compressor is refusing to start, it's likely that you're going to need a new controller. You can also test the compressor just to be sure before you go to the expense of buying a new controller and if you look at our next video we'll show you how to do that. So Penguin can supply you with a new controller. We have versions for both 12 and 24 volt. The 12 volt unit it has a part number of E254412 and the 24 volt E254424. So you can buy those from us and they are a straightforward retrofit, same plug, back into the same position. You may find, depending on the vintage of the box, that you need to make new terminations to go onto the right terminals on the new box, but they're all very well signed on the box, 15 amp fuses included, and you also get the LED bolt diagnostic on this box as standard.